Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am finally ready to finish up this tray. So I've given the polycrylic a chance to really dry. And the main reason for that is I don't want the transfer tape when it touches it to pull any pieces of it up. I was worried about that. Um, I am going to be using a strong grip transfer tape. This actually came in with this vinyl that I use for the Mandela design. So even though it was three different colors at uh, 12 inches by 24 inches for each one, they only gave me one 12 by 12 strong grip transfer tape. So I'll, I'll be sure to save this transfer tape. And next time I use that uh, vinyl, I've at least got this transfer tape because I don't have a separate roll of it. I've got my squeegee ready. The design has been fully weeded out. I've gone over it actually a couple more times just to make sure I'm not missing any little pieces. I have found a couple really tiny ones and weeded those out. But as far as I can tell, everything's been weeded out at this point. So let's get this put together. Okay, that was, that took a while to get this on there. I'm just gonna smooth down all the pieces. So that uh, strong grip transfer tape is strong. But because of the three dimensional feel of this fabric, yeah, I don't think I would have been able to do this with regular transfer tape. So a few little areas, like some of the circles on their own this flower area they they gave me a little bit of trouble i had one that stretched a little bit but in the end i think that will be fine but i'm glad it's on there because now i can put that final coat of polycrylic on and the tray is done okay just stirring up my polycrylic here at the top i know it's a little off frame just gonna put a coat on just the the bottom here 
I've already got a coat on the side, so I'm not gonna worry about a second coat. This is not gonna be used and abused. So I'm gonna go with the one coat. Get some of the polyacrylic off my stir stick. main thing I just want to do again is that barrier over this vinyl so it doesn't lift up and then if I have to like when I have to wipe the tray and stuff I don't have to worry about it get some little, little hair in there and get that out don't want that. It will be a permanent fixture. especially in the middle where there's a few small pieces. Going both ways with the paintbrush just to get it in all the nooks and crannies. So remember with polyacrylic you do have to use it in a well ventilated area. Wear gloves. It does have the poison symbol on it. One more across this way. Just to make sure I don't have any globs of polyacrylic anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit just so we can get rid of that cloudiness and I'll be back for the final reveal. So here we go. Here is the final reveal of the tray that I've spruced up. The top coat of the polyacrylic is for the most part dry. It does take 24 hours to dry as per the can, but I'm pretty sure there's a curing time for it. The first coat that I put on, I gave it about a week to, to fully cure before I put the second coat on. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give this about a week to fully cure before I use it for anything. Um, just to be on the safe side, I might end up putting a second, well, third top coat on just because I wanna be absolutely certain that nothing happens to the vinyl design. Again, this was a lot of work to weed this out and get it on there. So I don't want it to lift up anywhere, even though I don't think it will vinyl's got a good lifespan of I believe three to five years for the glue and it should be longer because I have sealed it but I just wanted to quickly show you the final reveal I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get some better detail on the actual Mandela just so you can see how intricate this pattern was I'm just going to move it around a bit so this is probably one of the trickiest, if not the trickiest, Mandela design I have weeded out. As you can see, there's so many small little sections. So definitely a lot of work 
put into this tray and I think it looks absolutely lovely. I hope you think it looks good as well. well. I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.